I'm Sophie. I'm an analytics consultant at TrueQ and also a committee member from TinyViz Talks. And today I'm going to be speaking about how to make network charts in Tableau. We'll first take a look at what network charts are and then a bit about the data preparation process for Tableau. And then we'll jump into Tableau and build out a network chart. First of all, what is a network? A network is a way of representing a group or system of interconnected people or things. You may have heard the saying, everyone is six handshakes away from the president of the United States. We can describe this scenario in terms of the social network where individuals are linked to those that they know with a theoretical handshake. In this example, Bing Chen is six handshakes away from President Joe Biden via her friends, her friends' friends, and so on. In technical terms, these individuals are called nodes and the links between them are called edges. Directed graphs are those that, where the connections or edges between the nodes have a direction. For example, if Gary gave Richard a present, in a present giving network, the direction would be from Gary to Richard, and we would refer to Gary's node as the source node and Richard's as the target node. Networks can be used to represent many complex systems aside from friendships, including the World Wide Web, global trade flows, and protein-protein interactions. Analysis of networks can help us to understand the nature of the relationships between the nodes, as well as features of the network itself. For our tutorial, we will use a network to represent knowledge flows between individuals and different teams with similar skill sets. I have published into a repo in GitHub the code and also information on how to use it in order to generate coordinates to plot a network chart in Tableau. This is available as a Jupyter notebook or in Python for AlterX form, depending on your digital preparation preferences, you should be able to use those there. And detailed instructions on how to use them are included in the readme file at the beginning. Now we'll jump into Tableau. Once you're here, you'll need to connect your data and then make one calculated column called name equals node name like this. This will be used as a sizing field. Next, you bring one X onto the columns and two Ys onto rows. You divide a dual axis and synchronize that axis. Then we want to take our first Y and make that one a line. And then also give an order to that plot. So bring on onto detail C index to give that an order. In the mark, in the second one, you want to configure it as a circle and size that circle by our calculated column that we've just made, name equals node name. You want to make sure that this sort is ascending. In the overall marks, we need to bring name onto detail. Going back to Y2, we need to add node name to detail here. Next, we want to add some labels so we know who the nodes are when we're interacting with this chart. So bring name onto label and no name onto label for that circle. And we do a little bit of editing for this, just leave node name and put highlighted so that the labels only show when we're highlighting specific relevant nodes. Um, then we want to create a worksheet action which will bring out um, not only specific nodes when we click on them, but all of the other nodes that those nodes are connected to. So go, and this is the same for a dashboard action. We go add action, highlights, on select, select fields name. Okay, that. You can see it's working as expected. Next, we might want to add a little bit more information in tooltip. So on the circle tooltip, which relates to the node, add some relevant information. So for me, node department is more relevant. I'm going to drag that onto tooltip and add information that I prepared earlier. We might want to clean up a bit now. So remove any tooltips from the lines and add some colors, which will help us to identify, in this case, which department each of the nodes are from. So that's what the colors correspond to here. This is looking a little busy, so we might want to tidy up by thinning the line a little, making the color less dark. 
success in your face. I want to make it slightly transparent as well. You can also remove the grid lines from behind to make it a bit cleaner and hide the axis. And here we have a network chart. You could also maybe change the background color like I did with this one. The black looks quite cool. We take a look at an example that I've published to Tableau Public, so feel free to interact with this. You can see, for example, if we're trying to take a look at how individuals are interacting between different departments, like this con to consulting sales, which I know is a methodology area which exists across many departments. If I click on specific nodes, I can see are people connecting with people from their own department or from different departments? And it looks like mostly people are connected with people from their own departments, which might suggest that knowledge silos are perhaps existing within departments and we need to make sure that people are communicating better. However, this is just one application of network analysis and this field is currently growing. I hope this tutorial will benefit you in whatever use cases you have. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Thank you for listening.